So I hope you've gathered over these studies in Matthew, not even talking about Mark, Luke, and John, or the letters in the New Testament, that Jesus was remarkable. I mean, the fact is, he was a man sent from God, prophet, more than a prophet, actually God himself in manifest flesh. And he did remarkable things continually. For three and a half years, he walked on this earth in the flesh, and he healed thousands and thousands of people. He delivered them. As you can see, I've got my doctor's outfit again, an actual stethoscope. Jesus did not need to do this when he took the role of a, of a physician. He did not need this, okay? But he already knew and heard the heart of man. He knew by faith and by the Spirit of God what was wrong with the head, the eyes, the ears, the mouth when they couldn't talk, the neck, the chest, the hips, the waist, the legs. He healed crippled people. He gave them um, arms when they didn't have arms. He gave them hands when they didn't have hands. He grew out legs. Just an amazing, amazing um, healing ministry. And he also delivered people from demonic spirits. Demons came scream out of, screaming out of people, delivered them, every one of them. Every person that came, he, that came to him got healed, sorry. I mean, this is the fifth time, I think, maybe the sixth time. In Matthew 4, in Matthew, in Matthew 10, in Matthew 14, in Matthew 15, in Matthew 19, over and over, Matthew was making a major point that he healed people in the synagogues, out of the synagogues, in the country, near the River Jordan. He even went into Perea, which we're going to share about in a second here. Let me switch this to this here. See if I can get this. Sorry, it's a little messy right now. If I can get you to see the map that I'm going to share. See if I can get this right here. Okay, yeah. Okay, let me see if I got this right. Okay, this is pretty close. So Jesus was just delivering people, you know, and it shows the nature of God and what he really wanted to do among people. So Jesus finally left Galilee for the last time, at least until after, before his resurrection. After his resurrection, he went back up into Galilee in this region right here. And he went down and he traveled along the river. He, it seems like he was on this side. He went through some of Samaria, which is this area, and then he went into what's called Perea, right here. Okay, so if I were to draw it, something like this, this is probably a map of his travels. Wouldn't you love to know exactly? I know I would. I love all those details. So here's Galilee, okay, like this. We have this Phoenicia. Here's Galilee coming down here. Oops, I think it's a little lower. Da, 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 da. Maybe actually a little lower. This came down here. He came here. This is Galilee right here, something like this. And then he left there and he went somewhat through Samaria, which is here. This is Samaria. Um, and this is Galilee. Let me write this to make sure we get a good picture of this here. And he somehow, I don't know how, maybe he went over here further. Um, by the way, this is Matthew 19, yay, um, the first two verses. But um, there's, when he left Galilee between here and later, uh, as he goes into Perea and all, a lot of uh, other stories were mentioned in Mark and Luke, and in John, by the way, that weren't mentioned in Matthew. So I think there's a possible, like, months that we don't have in Matthew. He kind of skipped over it. He didn't see the need of writing those stories. And... Um, I think it's probably in the autumn and the fall that this happened uh, 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 in, um, in the life of Jesus. And then in the spring, he picks it back up in the stories. But what happened is, let's say this is his travel. You know what? I'm going to get a different marker just for the fun of it and kind of show the travel, uh, like maybe in green or something. So he left Galilee, his blessed area, that his beloved area that he was ministering to for um, like three years. And... This is important. Um, all the writers mention this, this theme here, 
that he was headed for Jerusalem. Why? To die. He denied himself. He went literally knowing that he was going to die. He traveled towards Jerusalem for that purpose. Imagine you say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and head towards my death. That's what Jesus did. His love for you and me, um, you know, caused him to head straight towards the cross, which is pretty amazing. Now, along the way, he didn't say, hey, I'm not interested in helping other people. He helped the people all the way through. As a matter of fact, what you'll find out is that while on the cross, he even helped people. On the way, when he was carrying the beam of the cross to the cross, after he was being beaten and everything, he still helped people in the streets of Jerusalem. Oh, what a savior. All right, so he left. He probably went something like this. I don't know if you can see this. Came down here. He might have been over here more and they came in, but that's, that. I mean, who knows? All right, so I think he's on, uh, along here. And then it might have also, it seems like he went over here to Perea, which is pretty cool. He, it, it looks like he went into Perea and ministered to those people. And this is what this verse says. Like I mentioned the, uh, the passages early of, uh, earlier, um, uh, I kind of mentioned it wrong, I think, 4, chapter 9 is what I meant to say, chapter 14. Um, and, then, and, and then right over here, uh, he went to um, chapter 15, he went through here, and, and then right here, he, he, about 19, chapter 19, came down here, and somewhere in here, um, earlier he did all these healings and everything, and Matthew's trying to make the point that he did it over and over, and there's a reason for that. Not only because God wanted him to, because he loves people, but also to prove something about who he was. You know, he is the Messiah. He is the Son of God coming down and just rocking the people's worlds and changing people and delivering from the powers of darkness, from the kingdom of Satan. So he came in here, and then from there he came over, and then he, he kind of went up here a little bit. We'll go into that a little bit later, probably in John. Um, and then and then he came down here and he headed for this this city right here in Jerusalem. So there's the story. Basically, he went about uh, and great multitudes uh, were following him at this point, by the way. And then he healed them all. I wonder if it's God's will to heal. He healed everybody that came to him. It says when Jesus had finished these sayings, so he finished all those sayings about, if you remember. Um, uh, the wicked servant and the, you know, th sent to the tormentors. And if you do not from your heart forgive those who, you know, have done you wrong and all, then God's not going to forgive you and all. He's going to deliver you from the tor tor tormentors. He finished those sayings and then he left Galilee for the last time, like I said, until after he was resurrected. Then large crowds followed him and it says, and he healed them there. And he said, it went into the region of Judea and to the other side of Jordan. So he came to the other side of Jordan. And in my opinion, that's talking about, he went into Perea. And in the meantime, he was teaching, by the way. And Mark, it mentions he taught. So all the way to the end, you see, he was teaching and healing a bunch in, in, in Galilee. And now he's doing it in Perea and in the coast and the boundaries and the borders of Judea. So he just did it everywhere he went. And that reminds me of Acts 10, 38, actually says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And this is Matthew's point too, that he really over and over um, really did great miracles and great healings and, and he taught everywhere. And so what a wonderful Lord he was. Thank God for Jesus. And now we're going to enter in the next video a really difficult passage. Um, I don't even have the exact answer on it, but it's the same thing that was brought up in Matthew chapter five about like marriage, divorce, remarriage. This is a really sticky subject. So I hope you uh, turn, to, turn to that when I do this video and I hope you listen to it and uh, consider what I have to say. All right, thank you so much for listening. God bless you, amen.